stop hating yourself and start listening to music whenever you want, wherever you're at. Because if you have one of these and two of these, you can get some of these and then have this. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about how to get into hi-fi for less than $40. I blame Marty McFly. Why? Because he was zipping around on a skateboard holding on to pickup trucks while listening to a Walkman. And I wanted a Walkman. I also wanted to hold on to pickup trucks while on a skateboard. But since I lived in rural America and all the streets were made out of gravel, instead of risking personal injury, I went ahead and opted for the Walkman. Back then we had drugstores and a drugstore was a pharmacy but it was basically a general store one could get some cassettes there and buy music players they kept them in a locked glass case behind the cashier about shoulder height because even country folk living in rural america knew the value of music players back then i listened to almost all of my music through a walkman or a small boom box it wasn't until the ripe old age of 11 or 12 that i got my first component system the irony was that the Walkman or Walkman type player sounded better than the boombox and in some cases sounded even better than my separates system. Why? Because the music was right here. So for me, it all started with that Walkman knockoff. And for you, it can all start with these and one of these for less than $40. Even if you're an obsessive audiophile like myself and maybe others, many of us don't take our music mobile and if you're not taking your music mobile you're missing out on a perfect opportunity to further isolate yourself from other people I'm just kidding you should talk to people but seriously take your music mobile when we get over our agoraphobia and venture out into this strange and scary world sometimes we don't take music with us well that all ends today i wish a company like kz existed when i was a kid because it's a lot easier toting around one of these and a couple of these than it was a Walkman with 10 cassettes on me, like body armor. And then if I sat down wrong, I would crack one of the cassettes wide open. It wasn't easy. Or you pull them out wrong and then the tape's all there and they have to get a pencil, twist them back in. I wish they had MP3 players back then. And I wish they had IEMs, but it's okay, they have them now. I have talked about some KZ IEMs or earbuds before. And KZ is an Asian company and they make highly affordable IEMs like these. We're gonna talk about two of them today. I will, I will say this about KZ, their model numbers or names are frustrating and inconvenient. We're gonna talk about two, wait for it. The first one we're gonna talk about is the X. C, no, wait a minute. The first one we're gonna talk about is the X, HBB DQ6S. You got that? I remember it in my head. I'll remember that for about three milliseconds. I'm just gonna call it the XHBB. Actually, no, I'm just gonna call it the HBB. The other one is actually a little bit easier to remember. It's called the, well, that one's called the CCA CRA. So we have the HBB and the CRA. Come on, KZ. Just name it Dave or Hank. Chelsea, something, I don't know. But HBB, I mean, that's not, that's, I can't remember all of it. And the funny thing is, I have about three or four. I actually bought KZ IEMs before the channel ever started. And I still can't remember the first one that I bought. I have to have other people tell me which one I have. I think that's the Z7 Pro, ZS Pro, I don't know. The HBB, this one right here, $32. $32. It comes with a little two-pin connection for the cord into the IEM. The cables are not great, but for $32, they're just fine. Why? Because they work. Their cables have actually gotten a bit better, so they lay flat. They're, they're just fine, 90 degree angle. But I would suggest if you're looking at getting some KZs, get them initially and then upgrade the cable for another 10 or 15 bucks. Out of the box though, for $32, the HPB are built, well, pretty good. They fit well into my ear. They do have one of these little protuberances though, which can kind of, I don't know, irritate the inside of my ear every once in a while. But these actually fit pretty well. They also have this little area, which actually is 
very good for pinching it, putting it in your ears. They feel pretty good. They're made out of all plastic, but they feel good. Sound characteristics for the HBB. KZ sound signature on most of their IEMs is what a lot of people would consider to be U-shaped or V-shaped, which means an emphasis on the bass, an emphasis on the treble. It's a party IEM. It's an IEM that's going to appeal to a lot of folks that maybe aren't hardcore audiophiles and want the most linear flat response. The cool thing about their tunings are they're fun. It is a lot of fun to listen to music through most of the KZ offerings. If you're a hardcore, I want things flat and neutral, don't even bother because these IEMs just want to have fun. So between the CRAs and the HBBs, HBBs are a little bit warmer, which means there's not as much emphasis on the treble. There's still emphasis on the treble, but there's a lot of emphasis on the bass. The good news is, even though there's a ton of emphasis on the bass, it doesn't really bleed into mid-range, so the mid-range clarity is still retained. These are going to be good for electronic music, rock and roll, rap. I played some jazz on them. It wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't like accurate if you're listening in an actual jazz club, but it still sounds fun. And the cool thing about the HBBs is they don't have any sibilance. So even uninvited by Alanis Morissette, where there's a lot of sibilance with the tss and the it's like that, there wasn't any on the HBBs. Now, I listened to it through two different dongle decks. One was the, the Apple dongle deck for a whole $8. I think it used to be 10, now they're eight. 20% off, $8. This is a very good little dongle deck. You hook it right into your phone. So if you're an iPhone user, you don't have to run out and spend $100 on a dongle deck. You can go to Walmart and get an official Apple Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter for $8 and it sounds good. Now it's not gonna handle true high res music. It tops out at $24.92. But at this price point, are we really concerned about full resolution? And I don't even think full resolution really matters all that much, but I don't wanna debate about that. The HBBs hit like a drunken pugilist. I mean, they hit hard. Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys was so visceral and thick. It was pretty awesome. Not neutral. This is coloring the sound. It is spitting out a poorly maintained carnival ride in your ears. The CCAs come in at a whopping $24. And the sound signature is different from the HBBs. There is still an emphasis on the bass and an emphasis on the treble. Not as much on the bass, probably more on the treble. So again, not neutral. These have a very specific tuning. Bit more sibilant though. Bit more exciting on top. But the CRAs, for me, can lead to a little bit of listener fatigue. In small doses or at lower levels, they're fine. They're great. They're very exciting on top. For me personally though, I'm probably gonna grab the HBBs more often than the CRAs. Either way, if you're just getting into the hobby or you're just getting into mobile music, there is no better deal than KZIEMs. And these are both very good. There's some other awesome IEMs from KZ. The X Critical ZS10 Pro or something, I'll show a picture and I'll link it in the description. That one is very awesome. Also has a tendency to lean a little bit fatiguing for me, but the clarity is something to behold on those. That one has an electrostatic driver. The HBB has three dynamic drivers, and I'm not sure what the CRA has. It doesn't matter, they all sound good. They sound a little bit different though. For $32 and $24 though, it really, buy both. Try them both out, see which ones you like better. And that will actually help you determine maybe what your listening taste is. I wanted to listen to everything everywhere when I was growing up. Things haven't really changed all that much for me. If you're new to this hobby or you're new to mobile music, there has never been a better time than now. When I was growing up, every kid I know would probably had a couple pairs of these, maybe three pairs of these. And if we had MP3 players or even better streaming music, 
through a mobile phone? Whoa, Nelly. Marty McFly would have been blushing with happiness. They even have IEMs for down to $15, and they're not bad. I did a review on one one time. $15, remarkable. One thing I'll say about KZ is, again, as in with Fluence turntables, I always say, I don't know how they do it so cheap. With KZ IEMs, I don't know how they do it so cheap. And for less than a steak dinner or even getting the family Domino's pizza, you can get a pair of KZs. Get yourself an Apple dongle DAC for eight bucks and you could be enjoying music in the train station or the Greyhound bus station before you get ready to go on a long journey on the Greyhound bus. Just kidding, anywhere. Even if you're sitting at home, these are still a great way to enjoy your music a different way. So skip the steak dinner or getting Domino's for the family. Get yourself some KZs and an Apple Lightning to 3.5 millimeter connector. If you're an Android user, I use this. It's the Abasso, Ibasso. Sounds like Tabasco. It uh, would be cool if it was Ibasco. Ibasso DC05, $60. It's a USB-C type dongle deck, and it sounds very good too, very balanced. Then you're at less than 100. It doesn't matter. Try them out. They're awesome. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheapaudioman. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. We also have a patron-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal, both for free. You can A, B them, see which one you like better. You can also buy the KZs through my links. Those are affiliate links, which means if you purchase them, I will get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more, though, so it's a great way to support the channel. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Continue to isolate yourself from the rest of society. Get yourself some KZ IEMs, a lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter, and for less than $40, you don't have to talk to anybody and then fill yourself with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.